Falmouth Town Ferry. Falmouth Town Ferry. Uh, and who are you? I'm Paul Porter. I am operations manager of the Falmouth Town Ferry, which has the sandpiper and the pied piper. Sandpiper and the pied piper. Okay. Pied piper behind us here. Okay. Yep. Primary boat, pied piper. Yep. Tell us about the boat. Um, it's 72 feet. It was built in 1984. Uh, it originally came out of the um, shipyard with three 1271 Detroits rated at 650 each. Um, and over the years, the outboard engines had been repowered, uh, a little downgraded to, uh, I believe they were to 475. So she wasn't really running at capacity the last couple of years, I'd say. And, uh, obviously, the age of the engines it's time for repower. So. Big old Detroits. Big old oily Detroit. Smoky, rough. Yeah. Um, consistent. Great engines, but you people know, love them, right? people love them. Um, but I think it was time. Environmentally speaking, I think it was um, the right choice. Yep. They're smoky. They're oily. They're changing diapers all the time. So it was. It was time. The boat runs uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day. Uh, it has a spring schedule where it's um, where it's running three trips a day, Monday, uh, Friday through Sunday, and then during the summer we run four trips daily and a fifth trip on Friday. How long is the trip? The trip's about 45 minutes. Hopefully, with the new scannies, we're shaving a little bit off that. So, yeah. And um, and last year you put in. Two of yep. the Yeah, we put the two in. Um, obviously, if we put the third in, it's uh, we were happy with the outboard too. The center engine was kind of the power, the true power, the old Detroit, because that still had 650. So um, swapping out with the third really uh, yeah, showed. Yeah, so to be clear, they had three engines in the boat. Last winter, the winter before this past winter, they, they, they replaced two of the outboard ones with Scania's. Uh, and this winter, they did the third one. So now we have all three scanners. Yes. 13 liter um, common rail engines. And now they perform for you, at least what you've had so far. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No problems whatsoever. I mean, it's, um, yeah. The biggest factor is the smoke. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the customers love it. They're quiet. They're nice to work on in the engine room. Again, clean. The engine room's never been this clean. I've never seen it this clean. Um, Space wise, just they're nice, compact. Lost a bunch of weight too, right? Lost some weight. You know how much weight you lost? Oh boy, not a, that's that's been a while. We'll I get that. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, weight, uh, which meant new stability te tests and stuff with the Coast Guard. But you know, it was good. It was time to do that anyway. I think kind of get a better look at the boat. Did somebody say you got more passengers? Uh, we actually, yeah, we went up to one. I could give you the specifics. Right? So that's actual revenue, right? Yeah. 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 And fuel savings? Fuel savings, um, yeah. I mean, if anything, we haven't got the specifics on the fuel, but the oil. Uh, I mean, we were burning probably, uh, you know, a gallon a day per engine on those Detroits, whether they're going off into the exhaust or in the bilge. So just that alone, you're looking at, you know, three gallons a day adds up over the course of time. And it's not just the gallons, it's the, the manpower, the oil pads, the cleaning, the constant. So it's, um, yeah, we've definitely seen savings. Yeah. I think I think was talking to the captain, I think he was saying that today we're going cruising yep. about 50, 52 gallons an hour for right. all three engines. Yep. And that the smaller boat over yep. here does about the same gallons an hour with yeah. two engines. With two engines. Yeah. It's like a free engine for fuel. Exactly. It's very comparable. And obviously the bigger boat rides a lot better. Yeah. So um, we're excited to get that boat going. Um, yeah. Well, we appreciate you owning Scania. It's, it's a big deal for us. Um, thanks, thanks again. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. you guys have been great.